Michelle, just watching um, kind of what's laid out here, it's hard to follow some of this to mm -hmm. say zero COVID policy has been great. What benefits have they seen? Yeah, uh, it, it's pretty astonishing to hear that, right, when you see what it's done for the economy of China and actually not done very much when it comes to the health outcomes for China either. Look, I, what people were watching for in this party Congress was, is there any evidence that Xi Jinping has lost any grip on power or is he consolidating power? And there is no evidence that he has lost any power, that in fact he is now officially a strong man. Why would that matter to the U.S. markets? There was some hope that maybe there would be some loosening, that maybe we would see some increase in reforms, which would mean China could start to grow again in the way that we had grown used to it over decades. Uh, but he has pushed back reforms. The, the control of capital is driven by the party rather than by the markets. Even the New York Times blog, as they live blog Xi Jinping's speech on Saturday night, they said he referred to Marxism way more than he referred to markets. Now, this was pretty much priced in. If there had been something that showed that he had less consolidation on power, you might actually see a positive effect on the U.S. markets. But that's not going to happen. This is expected. Chinese market is trading very cheap. I was just back from the IMF meetings, and they say, listen, it's a trading market now, not an investment Weird market. Weird today, though, that the semiconductor stocks in China up 9%, 10 percent for a lot of those stocks. Yeah. I, I don't know what message they took out of that. I guess they've been beaten up pretty badly. They've been beaten up very badly. Yeah. And I, I think also as well, maybe perhaps the local chip stocks may get some support from the, uh, the government of Xi Jinping, because I think you will see ever more capital controls coming out of the United States as long as the tonality of Xi Jinping remains like we have seen in this speech. I think it's a coincidence that China has now put off its reporting of third quarter GDP That's numbers scary. that it was supposed to do tomorrow. Really unusual step. Yeah, just an hour ago that news broke. Two yeah. things happened in the last hour. One, they announced that they're not going to release the GDP numbers. Nobody's gotten an explanation as to Probably why. Probably because they stink. <laughs> and then CNBC.com just posted about 20 minutes ago a story saying that uh, somebody from the finance ministry has come out and said, we're no longer focused on high speed growth. We're now focused on high quality growth. And I heard at the IMF meetings last week that now there's this growing assumption in China that 2% growth is what they're going to get. 2%. Remember, we were used to the days of 8%. Right. 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 I guess that happens as your economy gets bigger and as you get into these squabbles with other countries. Choices, right? right. As and you get you into also squabbles. Make very bad choices. Right. Zero COVID has been a very bad economic choice. The decision that, remember, for 30 years under Deng Xiaoping, the party was receding. The Communist Party was receding. Xi Jinping comes back into power, and you hear Kevin Rudd say it all the time. He's a Marxist Leninist. What does that mean? The party is in charge. The economy is you now think, subservient to the you party. Think the COVID policy is going to change after this? Because from my read of it, it doesn't sound like it will. And right. I think there was an expectation, perhaps, that it might. Yeah, the, uh, what, what I've been reading is that maybe in 2023 it might change. Um, so, uh, you know, why they want to continue with that. One, one explanation I've it's heard is It's actually not too far away. That's two and a half months from now. The be. elderly are very unwilling to take vaccines in China. So if you have a spread of COVID, the death rate goes up a lot. And because they have so many people, 1.4 billion people, even a small percentage of people dying is a very large It might number. help if you had better vaccines that were actually if a little more effective. If you actually allow the import of uh, the mRNA, which is much more effective than right. Sinovac.